PDP leader who has openly declared a support for Tenembo's presidential ambition in 2023. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. It is no more news that a national leader of all progressive Congress, APC, and the former governor of Lagos State, Asiwa Jibola Metenembo, had declared his presidential ambition to contest presidential race in 2023. Of course, if you are just um, getting to find out that um, former governor of Lagos State, Bola Metenembo, is contesting for presidency, then we have to tell you, good morning, Karo, Shedadaleji. <laughs> Because it means you have been sleeping. So, um, back to the news. Um, it, it's, it's no longer news. And everybody is coming out to give him their support. Those who he, you know, he's their man. Those who they are in political party with him. Even those that, that are also in other political parties. And me, well, if you ask me why these people are doing this, because me, I really want to know why. Because to me, Nigeria is like, um, I know what I'm about to say. People say, I mean, maybe you call me a business person. I see Nigeria like a business venture. Who builds his or her empire? Like you build a very good empire for yourself. They have left it as like your legacy. And after building it, you are old and you want to retire. And you now hand it over to someone who is as old as you. Come on, it's not possible. You're going to be looking for smart head, right? Somebody who is smart. Somebody who knows his onion. Somebody who is competent. You want somebody who is proven, tested, and trusted. Right? You will not just want to get anybody because this person said, oh, this person can do the job. Of course, you will not want to. So why would you people want to do that to Nigeria? Look, Nigeria is even a country that has not been built. Nigeria has collapsed. What does it mean? It meets more technical conditions. As in this technical care, it means we're getting somebody who actually knows what he needs to do or what he needs to do at the end of the day. Nigeria is going to be revived, and everybody is calling on Tunubu, some are calling on Usibanjo. And look, I don't know for you, but me, I've said it before, I've not seen my candidates, I'm yet to see my candidates. But if you have any candidate other than Usiba and Joe and Sunubu, fine, no problem. I don't have any problem with them, but I just feel these people have shown us their best. I don't think there's anything new they want to show us. I say, Waju, whether I like it or not, has been in the affairs of this country. So I don't see everything that has happened before. He, he's aware. And I think that's his style. That's his style. Let's find out more about this, the news in detail. Please stay with us. It should be recalled that Tenembo made a declaration to contest presidential race when he visited President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. Tenembo informed the President Muhammad Buhari about his presidential ambition. Meanwhile, some opposition leaders have kicked against the presidential ambition of Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tenembo as he declared to contest presidential race in 2023. Among the leaders who had openly kicked against Tenembo's presidential race is the former National Deputy Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Olabode George, and the Governor of Beno State, Governor Sam Odom. However, there are some opposition leaders who may embrace Tenembo presidential ambition in 2023. Some may declare their support for him openly, while some of the leaders will not publicize their support for him. One of the PDP leaders who has declared the support openly for Asiwaji Bola Tunembu as the former governor of Ikuti State, Dr. Peter Ayodele Fayoshi. Dr. Peter Ayodele has declared the support for Tunembu if he contests presidential race in 2023. It was gathered that Dr. Fayoshi made it known to the public that he cannot campaign against Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunembu, whether he belongs to the People's Democratic Party. PDP, or the All Progressive Congress, APC. Meanwhile, it has been rumored on several occasions that Fire Shame may support Zinubu's presidential ambition before he declared his presidential ambition to the public. There was a time it was rumored that Fire Shame had joined the Southwest Agenda Swagger, though Fire Shame debunked the rumors immediately. 
The SWAGA is a group in the All Progressive Congress APC emancipating for the realization of Tinubu's presidential ambition in 2023. However, Fayosha and other prominent leaders who are yet to declare their support for Tinubu may later embrace his presidential ambition. At the end of the day, they just told us, uh, at the end of the day, he, he just said he will not compete. <laughs> this is <this is> bloggers. <laughs> oh, they will not, even if um, maybe Fayoshi or Governor Fayoshi, former Governor Fayoshi, is actually um, going to come out, going to be supporting Tsunami, but I don't think he'll be doing it openly. Yes, I don't think so. You can't be in your party and you're supporting another. Uh -uh. To me, to me, I'm not a party person, but I don't think it should be. I don't be, think it should be a good ethics of a party person or somebody who wants he, his or his party to grow. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not right. Tinubu's ambition is a collective effort. Either saying support or the devil goes against it. It has been master plan that master money politically that Tinubu is a president. It is your pre see be using my. I mean, I, you this pronouns we should be using them well. Ha, me, me, my blood is hot. <laughs> the news and details, that was just a joke. They want to spend Tenebu's money. Firstly, Igbo people cannot support him. Hausa cannot vote for Yuba. P PDP people join APC because they want Jonathan, who is not Hausa, instead of to support the Yoruba nation. Well, maybe he rely on the power of Cham, but Cham cannot capture everybody. <laughs> Um, oh my god. Why did you declare for Yoruba that you're seeking president for? <laughs> Shebi, ain't FSA Yoruba nation? <laughs> I can't say this. I can't say this. Faisha is not someone to reckon this. Hmm. But Faisha was former governor of a state that can have a structure on ground and money too. So people like him have some substance to be reckoned with. He might deliver a substantial vote for his preferred candidate. Come 2023. Well, at the end of the day, let the best candidates emerge. Let the most competent person emerge. In democracy, there's no permanent enemy by interest matters. If Varasunomo could wash his EFC cases, why not? He has to go where he might find some respect. Besides, no one can pledge his loyalty to a preferred candidate, irrespective of political aligning. Let every citizen express his real choice of interest. That is what makes us human. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.